The My Kids Radiothon is just hours away. Thursday and Friday, Kirby and I will be live at McDonald's on Dunmore Road as we try to raise hopefully a lot of money for the Regional Hospital Foundation and, of course, some of the pediatric causes in our local hospital. All right. We hope to see as many listeners as possible. We hope to see you. Maybe bring a donation. We'd really, really like that. All the money is going to the kids. Okay. One kid that I hope might be able to stop by is little Evan Green. He is seven years old, and we've got Grandma on the show, Grandma Lorinda. Lorinda, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Good. Evan was born with a severe problem affecting his eyes and his ability to to sense things visually. Tell us a little bit about what the condition is called and the effect that it has had on him during the first seven years of life. Okay, Evan was born with um, optic nerve hypoplasia, otherwise known as ONH. And what happens is his optic nerve didn't develop from his brain to his eyes. So it's not his eyes actually affected, it's actually brain development and, and his ability to see. Uh, he became involved with CHADS probably when he was about a year and a half old to two years old. Uh, he started going to their weekly play programs, and through that was... Uh, he worked with their various therapists there, from occupational therapists to speech therapists to behavioral therapists, and um, also was a good source of information for his mom, Kirsten. It is a fantastic program that literally is helping so many children across our, our entire region. Many people would shocked, be shocked to know just how many people they're helping out. So safe to say that this program has made a profound impact in his first seven years. Is that, is that correct? Oh, absolutely. It's helped him learn to navigate his world because not only does he have vision problems, he has a lot of sensory problems. And uh, through these therapists and stuff, he's learning tools to uh, navigate his world. All right. So, like I said, that is a program that's doing so many great things, but it needs more funding. Uh, The provincial government funding literally is a drop in the bucket for uh, all the funding that they need to continue to help all the children in our region that need that little extra assistance. So stop by this Thursday and Friday, and uh, like I say, participate in the fundraiser, and let's help out the CHADS program at our regional hospital. Hey, Lorinda, uh, what's the long-term prognosis then for Evan? I know that through technology, there's actually a very unique opportunity that's in front of him now. Tell me more about some special glasses that he now has the chance to utilize. Okay, I haven't had an appointment just on Monday with a company out of, it's either Ontario or, or Ottawa, or sorry, Toronto or Ottawa. Um, it's called eSight Corp. And what it is, they've developed glasses for people who are visually impaired, legally blind, but they have to have some kind of vision still available to them. And uh, this absolutely magnifies his vision where normally he would have just seen, say, six inches in front of him to read or write. This is how he's learning. Um, He was able to read signs that were 100, 150 feet away from him looking out a window. Isn't technology incredible? Oh, unbelievable. Hey, I'm going to put a link at the bottom of this video for a little bit more information as far as that goes. And if you want to keep track of uh, Evan Green's story, you certainly can. And uh, perhaps you could even be in touch with Grandma or Mom. If uh, you'd like to be of further assistance to that family. But once again, the My Kids 30 Hour Radiothon is coming up this Thursday and Friday at McDonald's. Get excited. Go to the website right there to uh, make a donation. And hopefully we can make it a massive success. Hey, Lorinda, thank you so much for joining us today. And give our regards to Mom and Little Evan. Okay, thank you very much.